This is Hammersmith. I'm going to do a lift tour here. There's St Paul's Church, which is sadly, which sadly gone all happy flappy. Over there is another bus stop. This is this bus stop. That bus stop over there is because Hammersmith St Paul's Church. This one, perhaps Hammersmith Black Lane. Now I'm on King Street. And now into our second shop and the first one to have a lift. It's H&M and it has a second generation eco disc. And now it's the first lift which is in H&M. It's a nice eco disc. Going down. Shop now for up to fifty percent off with our summer offers. Hey. Oh. 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 Eco disc. And that's that. It's, it's got a nice digital number font indicator. Our next lift is here in Primark. There's a gated lift, but only cleaners are allowed to use it. The main lift is a really slow eco disc with Dewhurst buttons installed by UK Lift. UK Lift. It's a generic. Maybe this is why everyone seems to hate Primark. I don't hate Primark, but I don't think it's an enjoyable experience shopping here. I prefer BHS, to be honest. But let's go down. Closing. Let's go down. It's a cone, and it's also... This lift is an eco-disc. But it goes very slowly. The maybe cone we're using UK Lift as the installer, so people thought it was made by UK Lift, so it wouldn't damage cone reputation because eco discussion. Now there's this weird staircase going up outside King's Mao. It has a locked door on it, but the lock on the door is actually broken. In fact, it's been broken for nearly a year. And Hammersmith and Fulham Council haven't fixed it yet. It goes up to some 60s apartment buildings. Let's go up the staircase. That's a fire exit from Primark. And now we're up. in these 1960s tower blocks above King's Mall. That was easy. Let's do some urban exploring, but first to our next lift. This lift is part of Sainsbury's. It's going rather slowly, not like that old Marriott Scott I saw. Door closing. It's just a generic. It's, it's like an old generic lift. A lot of sickly tower blocks have these lifts, but they don't usually have them in like supermarket areas. Well they do have them in supermarkets but they look totally different. Door. Door. Oh. Doesn't do Wilkinson's 
has a Nepal lift. It's going that bad, and even though this is the highest floor, you have to go ground and zero. However, this lift is staff only. And now to the main lift, which is a Hammond and Champness boilers hydraulic. Now to the shopping centre's main lift. This lift is a whole lift hydraulic lift. Does this take me upstairs? Lower it goes up Let's to like it goes up. up to like a apartments area. Oh is it? Oh okay. Yeah. Doors closing. Doors opening. Lift going up. Hammond Doors and Champness. Closing. Doors opening. Hammond and Champness. Doors closing. Rather slow. Doors opening. While I was upstairs, I found an entrance into the 60s apartments which had had its magnetic lock deactivated. The lifts in the apartments are all old express lifts or Benny lifts. The two are quite similar, but they're modernised by Express Lifts Alliance. I'm in the apartment above the centre. Is this just an independent service? No, it's making announcements. It's Express Lifts Alliance. It's designed to look like an express lift, but it's really a generic, made by Otis. And the logo is Hammersmith and Fulham, which is the local council. They make all their money from parking, which is a very good way of making money. What a nice surprise. I completely wasn't expecting to be able to get up here. And over there you can see the tube. And those arches there, which look rather pointless, they're actually a relic because originally the eastbound district line tracks where it was originally, the westbound district line track at the e is now the eastbound Piccadilly. The, the westbound district line track is where it was originally. The westbound Piccadilly line track used to be the eastbound district line track, and the two and the eastbound tracks used to be another line run by London and South Western Railway that went through where that block of flats under construction is now went next to Hammersmith Brackenbury station on the Hammersmith and City line and then it went down some under some places to Chiswick I completely wasn't expecting to be able to get up here and I am happy and I'm going to stay up here until I've finished This tower block goes in strange to half floors. Let's go around to see all of the lifts. So, more underground. In fact, I think this is why they positioned the flaps of the walkway on this side so people's bedroom windows didn't back onto the underground but it would be noisier and here comes a Piccadilly line train it go, the westbound tracks go around a weird island but the eastbound Piccadilly line track doesn't do that it's rather weird this line
Piccadilly line areas. And now let's continue around. And now we have reached our next set of lifts. Take another look at the view. And it's got one of the lifts for us. The left hand one. It's a bit fuzzy because my camera's not so good. I'm on six. That wasn't all that bad. Maybe it's an express modified by Express Lifts Alliance. Lift going down. Doors closing. Let's go down. Oh, I I went floor. Doors open. Lift going down. I managed to get in here. Because the lift was on independent service mode. But now, in order to get back, I can still get back up, but I need to walk up the stairs. Now, continuing up the stairs, this level feels like it's abandoned. Let's continue up to the eighth floor. area. I'm actually very visible here so I feel quite safe. It would be easy for people to see me down on the street below. And now, continuing around, that's the middle again. What's around here? So I'm on the sixth floor. Let's go down to four, let's say. Four is allowed. In fact, I don't think they were locked, it was just maybe the lift was going too fast. Another express modified by Express Lift Alliance. Back round to the central walkway on the lower level. See a lot round here. And I like that I've got into this 60s estate. The good thing about 60s estates is because they still put some effort into the town planning. Modern day housing estates put an absolutely no effort at all. So that's back down on one. Hmm, I know. I'm going to go 
over back to the lift and go down. Oh, it's so cold. I'm going to have to wait then. Oh, it's actually coming reasonably fast. There is the high street. And I'm going to go down. Because it doesn't serve the second floor, so I'll go to third floor, which is the closest level to the second floor where there's a the play park area. Third floor. You're supposed to need your house key to activate the lifts. Doors opening. Door. I'm gonna go and do some more exploring. I'm going to make it just in case, cut it. What on earth is this? Is this like some sort of gasometer? Like that they, they used to have gas here for the estate? I don't... This estate is rather interesting. And... Now on... Here. There's nothing in here, and there's no point to this little area. That goes down to the street. Let's continue up. I'm going to go up the stairs now. I'm on five now. I can hear lovely bells. The thing about being in the heart of London. You hear heart of London noises. It's a in a background distance away. Sounds like the bells of St Paul's actually. Ah. It's Saint Paul. It is St Paul's, but it's this St Paul's in Hammersmith. It only has a down button, but then it's not, um, it's not, um, down, it's not like it calls this down, um, it's like it's calling it down, but they're just, like, up and down buttons, but they remove the up button. You can still actually go up. It doesn't like you doing that, though. I'm going to take the stairs instead. All of the lifts here are identical. I'm going to go maybe up there next if it's connected. And there is St Paul's, and this is a wonderful view of Hammersmith. I completely wasn't expecting to get up here. The only way I got up here was by going in with, was just by going through a door that was left unlocked, and then going in a lift, which was on independent service already. 
And so now, we're going to full circuit and we're back where we started. And up there is the motor room. We were able to get in there though. In motor it's important, do not touch anything because it has high voltage electricity. Out. This lift. Hello. Hello. Oh, you're coming out. This lift, for some reason, appears to be on independent service, which means that it will only. Oh, it's no longer on independent service. It was independent service when I came out. This is the lift I got up in. DC. Something in the shift uses DC motors. I don't know what. You can see into the lift shaft there. Wow, I just noticed something. You can actually see on top of the lift. You can see all the motors and everything. You can see on top of that lift. Wow. Now it appears that lift on independent service is because the dot matrix gone funny. Only one of these lifts goes to the ground floor. Doors closed. Oh. It's year manufactured 2014. Maybe they're just faking it, so you know that. So you, so you think that they made it rather than modernised it. I think it's an old express lift, modernised by Express Lift Alliance. And up there, you can actually see up into the lift shaft, which is amazing. And now on to the Lyric building, which has awesome Schindler smart lifts. The building's designers must have been absolutely stupid, because the lift call system is used as a lock for the door, but all you need to do to get in is enter a valid floor number. They must have not known how destination dispatch works, and thought it was a code lock or an intercom. Party. I'll continue with this. Oh, but I don't know how many floors. This building has cut this, this system even though it doesn't even have 15 floors. Car A. Car A. Yeah, we could explore it. Talk some more. Quite a few more. 
Passer toute la journée dans le. Oui, It's a, I think this might be a Schindler. They don't really need reception security, they already have the security there. I'm going to go down to level two. Car A. I think this is, I think this might be a Schindler. It doesn't actually say. Car A, cars A and B are the only ones in service, C and D are out of service. And this is covered preference for A. No, I might too. Now I'm outside the back entrance. Biggest camera CCTV I've ever seen. And now over to the car. There's another car park near here which has a yucky 90s generic. This one has eco discs. The button says down. I'm not entirely sure what it is up and down. This one should be one. One new change time. Two. No, this is the first floor. There is the Minus two. Goes to. So two is shopping, zero is round, minus one and minus two are car park. Eco-disc, third generation eco-disc, with the vandal resistant buttons. Let's go up. Hydro I think it's a Gen 2 hydraulic. And now into the Lyric Theatre. This is the section. Let's get back.
Somebody went from the second floor to the ground floor. It's a Gen 2 with the co notice voice. That's weird, because for the first floor, it had the standard co notice voice on the first floor. Second floor actually had like a custom announcement. Now let's continue exploring the limit. I wonder what it's like. Okay. And presumably this will be circle. <laughs> this is a weird theatre. Looks like this was originally painted over the entire wall. Then maybe painted the door. Oh no, it's still painted on the door. So I'm on circle. What about? A circle. There was an area called Lose and Lift. Could be this area. And a 16's toilets. Now. And so here. The lifts. It says lift and lose. That's where we are though. DC motor. Side panel, main panel. Please mind the door. Benny! It's an old Benny. The lift only goes to the ground floor if it's in activated in fire mode. Please mind the door. Oh. Benny lifts. Got ticky tape. And the ticky tape's loud. This lift. Usually it's only loud in lifts that are doorless, well, that sound. And now back to the ground floor in the Otis Gen 2. That's a long announcement. That's at Croydon. This one has the co notice standard voice custom announcements, which is weird. Voice, but it you stand in up to the first floor and the rest of the place. And now over to the Broadway Center, which has some painfully slow cone hydraulics. This is the top floor of Hammersmith bus station, and this floor has the absolutely rubbish cone hydraulic lift. These lifts are rubbish, they're extremely cheap lifts, but they're made by a major lift company. I've got Cone's classic chime and they're the only place I've heard it. And the buttons are a bit malfunctioning, because they're not really like, really long lasting ones, old Cone buttons, so often they get replaced. And one of the lights is broken. See the intake working, there are two LEDs and a third which is not there. It's missing. So many mirrors in this lift. Just filming myself. I'm gonna use this lift to film an example of a hydraulic lift. So 
So then, that's it for today. I'm going to be filming for my upcoming video on hydraulic lifts. In the meantime, I went to Starbucks and sipped a frappuccino. I paid a fiver. How much change do I get? A sovereign, an angel, a crown, and a shilling. I could get a decent meal for that.